Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can protect our dashboard or routes in general from unwanted access. Because at the moment, no one is hindering us from just accessing our dashboard directly through the URL. Now, we don't want that to work. How do we prevent this? It's very easy to do that. Angular 2 has a concept called middleware. Now, middleware is, as the name says, something which is executed in the middle of a request. So when we send a request to the server, before we're handling it in our route, so in our controller, for example, Angular 2 will pass it through all the middleware, which is specified for this specific route. And this middleware acts like a filter. So Angular 2 ships with a lot of middleware. In our routes file, we got this middleware web thing here. Now the web middleware is just a bundle of middlewares, for example, which checks if the CSRF token is set and so on. So we got a lot of default filtering going on. Now we want to apply a specific filtering to our dashboard route. We want to apply a filter which only allows logged in users to access this, uh, this, this view or this route. Now we could write our own middleware, this is possible in Laravel, and this is a quite powerful feature, but we don't have to, because protecting routes for, for authenticated users only is a common thing in web development. That's something you need a lot. So Angular 2, I say again, Laravel ships with those, um, this middleware by default, and it lives here in this middleware folder under app HTTP middleware. We got the authenticate PHP file. Now this middleware here does exactly what we want. It calls our helper method in the off facade or through the off facade to check if the person sending this request is authorized or if it's is if he is logged in. If the user is not logged in, we either get just a message, text message, if we're doing an Ajax request, or if it's like a normal ad, um, request, we're redirected. Now I want to overwrite this here. I want to redirect to a route, namely the welcome route. Is it called like that? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I will give this route a name here, my welcome route, and I will name, name it welcome, or, or let's just call it home. So this home route here will be the route I will redirect to when we have, uh, well, if we're trying to access it um, when we're not allowed to. So now there is nothing else we have to change here. The only thing we have to do is hook this route up in or this middleware up at this middleware in our route file. Now we do this by adding another key here, another configuration to our dashboard route, which is called middleware. And then here we specify an array of middlewares which should be applied to this route, just like Laravel is doing here in the grouping. Now we want to use the off middleware. The strange thing is, why am I writing off here when the file is called authenticate and the class is called authenticate. Well, because in our kernel PHP file, where all of these middlewares are managed, basically, you see the web middleware package and so on, we got our route middlewares at the bottom of the file. And here, all those middlewares receive like keys we use in our route file. So we see that our authenticate middleware, which is the one we just edited, is assigned to a key called auth. That is why I'm just using auth in the routes file. I'm accessing this middleware by doing so. So this command and this little change here should protect our dashboard route. Let's check this. I will again, I will reload here, try to access my dashboard route. And as you can see, I'm redirected back. I'm not getting to my dashboard route. Now let me try to log in. I hope I remember, remember my password I set up here. Yeah, it worked and now I'm logged in and now I can access this dashboard route because, well, I'm authenticated and therefore this middleware lets me pass. That's how we protect routes in Laravel.
I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.